all right welcome back this is a model rocket tip this is a video on how to cut body tubes i got a question recently on how to cut body tubes you may need to cut body tubes if you're a scratch building or if something gets damaged and you want to replace a section of a model rocket body tube so in this video i'm going to show you two ways one way is using the estes model rocket tube cutting guides this is really cool i started using this recently because i'm going to show you how this works, and i'm going to show you the way I used to do it before I had one of these. You can get one of these at estesrockets.com. You can use my discount code. Go ahead and stock up, get some stuff you need, use the discount code. This is a good tool to get. So the way this works is this is a BT, BT50 tube and you will grab this guide out of the pack. They come like this. This one fits this, a BT50. So first thing you would do is you would mark, say you wanna mark it right there, you measured. Say I measured and uh, I want to mark right there at nine inches. So I already pre-marked this, mark the nine, take the BT50 tube guide, slide that on, slide it right up to the line. Hopefully you can see that. Then you slide the other end on and this piece without the writing will lock this in right at the line where you want your tube to be cut. So there you go. I have that right. Let's say, let me move it a little about right there, right there, having trouble getting it, but there you go. So lock that in right there. You push them together and it kind of grips them. Then you'll take a sharp X-Acto knife, preferably a new blade. And while that's there, you can put your fingers behind here to hold it in place so it won't slide. It shouldn't slide. Then you take this X-Acto, you put it right in the seam in here and you slowly score slowly score go around the tube go around the tube you don't have to cut all the way through on the first pass so that way you're not pressing down and you're not making things slide around so just slowly score the tube and if you have a nice sharp blade it'll it'll go right through there no problem this is a new blade i have and it'll cut right through these paper tubes, no problem. So this is a BT50, I'm cutting that nine inches. And this is the Estes marking guide. You can get these, I mean, tube cutting guides. Marking guide is another, tube, another, uh, another tool you can get. So just cut through there, just get that nice angle. And it's starting to go through the tube, as you can see. And one other thing I will need, you will need is uh, sandpaper because you're going to have like like a slightly rough edge so you're going to want to um go and clean that edge up so this just popped off a little piece still hanging on there actually it fell off there so there you go so just use that you pop that off this is the section you want it and you will grab a piece of sandpaper or sanding stick either or I forgot to have that right here where I need it and then just go ahead and sand this edge a little piece of paper may be hanging out but this is a smooth straight edge this is something anybody can do it's easy nice smooth edge put it in the inside of there just clean that up really good and that is how the model rocket tube cutting guys work i just cut this edge it's perfectly straight it's great this side is a little rougher because i'm not really worrying about that now i'm going to show you if you don't have the guides how to cut a tube so let's say you're measuring and you want to cut, let's see, let's make something I may actually use. Let's say I'm, I'm going to make a motor tube, let's just say. All right, so I'm going to have a little hang. Let's say we're going to go about, right, we're gonna, let's say we're going to cut it four inches. So four inches right there where my thumb is. I'm going to go ahead and mark. Put the mark there, the pencil. Mark right there, because I'm making this for a motor tube. Then, this is the way I've been doing this for many, many years. You take masking tape is very similar to the guides until you buy yourself some guides using the discount code you can do this you want to line you take a piece of tape off but this tape you want to be perfectly straight so just take your time um, lining this up put the tape right on that line perfectly straight as straight as you can get it and you just want to you eyeball it you may not get it the first shot like sometimes you, i've done this many times sometimes you can get the first shot sometimes it's a little crooked still and you may have to pull the tape up that's why you want to use masking tape and i think i have that pretty good and you just want to kind of pull it 
slightly. You want this to line up perfect though, and just go around. And let's see what we got. I've been doing it for a long time. Yeah, this is this is good. So you want to stack this as it rolls. However big a piece of tape you use, you just want to build a nice little wall going around. I can see that's on there pretty good. So this will this will work out. This will work out, guys. This will work out. So there you go. And then same thing. Take it very sharp, exacto. And for this one, you can actually sit sit it down, and you can feel it button up right against the edge of the tape, right against the edge of the tape wall. And then you will slowly score, go around, not go into the tape, just slightly right at the edge of the tape. And I'm rolling this tube as I'm rolling in the exacto. The exacto is sitting still, and I'm just kind of rolling it. First cut will be like a score. Just getting the edge, um, just getting the cut in. Then the next one, it should pop through. Yeah, it's starting to go through now. It's starting to go through. This blade, I thought it was a new blade. I had it sitting in a little tray, but it, I'm not sure it's as sharp as it needs to be. It seems like it's a little, may have been used for something. But if you get some sharp exacto number 11 blades, that's what this is, you'll be good. Now see, this is popping right through, it's cutting, and we're good. This is through, I think we're all done. Yeah, so I'll just keep going. Yeah, so there we go. Have my tube cut. This is the section I wanted this time, same thing. Get some, uh, get your, your sandpaper. Go ahead and sand that up. And you know, the, the better, the more you do it, the better you'll get. The more you take your time, the straighter you'll be. This one has a little wobble, but nothing too bad. This can always be the, the good end. This can be the bad end. But that's pretty straight. That's pretty, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. But the tube marking guys by Estes is the better option this is just if you have nothing and you feel like taking lining it up and taking your sweet time i'm just moving through just wanting to show you guys this can be done you can get nice edges by hand you can get nice edges by hand and straight edges so there we go perfect this will you know motor tube this can be a motor tube for e12 motor or d engine or whatever 24 millimeter and there you have it guys here's the first cut with the estes the SDs, you just mark, like I said, just put that on there, like I showed you. Go around the Exacto, and you got yourself some cut tubes. Use simple materials Exacto knife, masking tape, pencil. That's all you will need to get that done. It's Model Rocks 321 with a tip. Use a discount code, use a discount code at Estes. Buy yourself. You got a full set of these also. Look at that. You got BT60, you can cut 55. You can cut BT20, and you can cut all the way down to the little BT5s. That's the BT5 right there, along with the BT50. Model Rock 321. I'm out.